Hello everybody, it's Simon here. We're just on the uh, landing pad ready for launch and uh, today's flight is all about this new little tail servo here. This is an Inel Lab 201HB. Um, it's a fast tail servo so it's it's bye bye Corona and welcome to a more premium product. Um, I've also moved the gyro, the uh, leader's hobby GY520 back onto the top of the tail boom. Uh, I just feel there's less vibrations there and I can see the light clearly when I'm going through the setup. It does mean that the uh, wiring's not so tidy um, because when it's on the tray down here, the gyro, you can hide the wiring better, but never mind. We might move it back yet, but um, just whilst we're trying out this uh, new tail servo and uh, tuning in the gyro to it, it's probably best off staying there. Right then, let's see how we go. Okay then. made and flight with a new tail servo. As you can see the head hold is still excellent. I've not touched the rudder since takeoff. Oh it's slow movements. Oh it's there. Slow movements are there. No bounce. In fact they're better. Much smoother. This is the comparison really between the Corona DS919 Metal Gear and the uh, new servo, the InnoLab HGD 201 HB with the uh, aluminium heat sink so okay hi guys I'm afraid for the pilot the sun's all wrong at the moment so okay it's nice and smooth in fact I've been able to reduce the delay right down something I couldn't do with the uh, Corona Right, what I really wanted was better performance in a sense and what have you. Yeah, it's still... It's still yours a bit. Let's have another look. Right, up we go, we're past. That's better. It's windy up there. I'm afraid it's one of those days as well where the wind speed's about 30 miles an hour outside the shelter of the trees, so... Okay, if we go up... Maybe the gain wants upping a bit. Maybe I can up the gain now I've got a better servo on there. Oh, it's better though, I'll tell you what, because let's try full throttle ascent, because I couldn't do that with the Corona. Alright, that was full throttle, and it didn't blow out, which the Corona would have done, frankly. Oh, okay, let's land, and I'm going to have a tinker, and see what I can come up with. Yeah, there we go then. I'm going to fiddle about with the gain and maybe my throttle curve a little bit and uh, see if we can stop it yawing on a rapid ascent. Okay then, thanks for watching all. See you in a bit. Bye for now. Right, here we go. I've up the throttle curve to a slightly steeper V. Um, so the motor doesn't bog so much in the rapid ascent and I've nudged the gain up to uh, 76 on the DX6i. So we've not lost any of the smoothness, which is good. 
lost orientation, but not smoothness. <laughs> Alright. Oh, that's better. That's much better. Okay, it's still yours left a little bit, but... Okay, uh... Pillow? That's fine. A little bit of bounce on the... So, right. Okay, that's fine. And left a little bit of bounce at the end, but it not too bad. Uh, Yeah, it's loads better than the Corroda setup. Gosh, it shifts. I might try tightening the belt a little, because I think. Uh, Might just be slipping slightly. Hmm. Well there we go, it's, uh, it's a definite improvement, uh, those rapid ascents that I've just done would have caused the Corona tail servo to just totally blow out, lose the plot. Um, it's not as perfect as I'd hoped, but um, yeah, it's, it's a huge improvement, so uh, well, let's just have a feel at the uh, servo. Okay, it's sort of touch warm. It's uh, nothing more than sort of I don't know the temperature of your fingers. That's what it that's what it feels like. So uh, yeah, that's running okay, I think. Right. Well, I think there's still a little bit more tinkering to be done, but we're certainly uh, heading in the right direction. So uh, thanks for watching all. Bye for now. Hello there, again it's Simon, just one last little foot now. Now, I don't know whether this shows on here, but I think the belt's a little loose. I'm using next to no pressure and I could get just about all the way across, so... Where is it? There it is. Yeah, so I think before I tinker any more, I shall uh, tighten up the belt a little bit and uh, we'll have another look tomorrow so uh, yeah we've made progress today definitely but uh, I think I'd rather sit down with it on the bench and move the uh, tail boom out a bit and let, let the glue set and then um, have a proper go tomorrow okay then thanks for watching all bye for now